Hey everybody, remember to check out the disclaimer, and also remember that my supporters on Patreon got to see preview images, work in progress shots, and high resolution images of the completed toy. If you would like to join them, the link is in the description below. Friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with a commission for Michael. Uh, it is Overlord, his OC. Overlord's a pretty unique looking character. First of all, he's actually quite tall. From what I understand, this guy is supposed to like tower over Eggman. And he has a really unique design. I mean, look at that. Isn't it kind of cool looking? It almost looks like a Venom symbiote took over a circus clown. Is that a thing that ever happened? I'd be, I'd, given all the crazy stuff that happens in comics, I'd actually be surprised if that never actually happened. But uh, yeah, like that's a that's a pretty interesting, cool looking design. So why don't we go ahead and you know make it? All right, everybody, get down and kneel because the base toy was Zod. Yeah, from the DC Universe Collectibles line. Uh, it's a four-inch Zod figure. Okay. Look at this guy. Can can you believe that this was ever considered to be a credible threat to Superman? I mean, look at his pants. Look at those pants. Like, a guy wearing those kinds of pants looks more like he's getting ready for the Renaissance Fair than menacing the world's mightiest mortal, you know? Oh, but whatever. Um, so, this figure, being a DC uh, collectible isn't able to be dismantled too much. I was only able to remove the head and the arms from their bicep swivel. So, you know, the rest of this has to be sculpted in one piece. Um, I use my Dremel to sand away the stupid puffy part of his pants, leaving um, a nice smooth grade to his thighs. And then I use the epoxy to sculpt the big old chest floof the kind of silver style chest floof that this character has. I also filled in a lot of the wrinkles on the costume. Um, uh, you know, like, it, it, it looks like a puffy, loose-fitting shirt thing, but, you know, like, that's not what Overlord looks like. Overlord has a smoother body, so, you know, fill all that stuff in. Uh, and then, um, paint him in that good old-fashioned pajama gray. <laughs> I don't, it's not pajama gray, it's, it, it's a regular gray. And the result is a body which, um, you know, it kind of looks tall and lanky and loomy, like a proper, like a proper, uh, body should. Okay, now this is a Sonic figure, a Sonic OC, so it stands to reason that we would use some Sonic parts. In this case, we're going into the Free Riders figures and getting Storm the Albatross's, uh, feet, and Wade the Swallow's hands. Uh, this is because those two parts are relatively larger compared to most of the other characters. And, um, you know, like, since this guy is physically bigger, they would make proportional sense on his larger and taller body. And, uh, yeah. And here are the feet in the process of being, you know, made to look like his. Uh, Sculpting-wise, I just had to round out that toe a little bit and add those little arrow things to the ankles um, and paint it up. A uh, pretty unique color scheme with the orange that has the red stripe going over it. You really don't see a lot of orange in fan characters. At least, um, no, like, aside, aside from, like, hair color or sometimes fur, they don't really do orange too much. Like, orange clothes or shoes just aren't that much of a thing. Um, the hands are Wave's hands, of course. And to make them work on Zod's arms, I uh, cut off the hands, leaving just the little pegs and just enough to stick into the cuff of Wave's arms. And then, um, you know, glued them in place, let that dry. Let that dry. And then, um, and then uh, Overlord kind of has some little claws going on. So I use my X-Acto knife to carve some sharpened fingertips on the ends of the fingers. So that once painted all white again, they would, you know, have the claws, which is some good and scary stuff. Uh, so those are the hands and the feet. 
So all that would leave is the head, which is built around Zod's original head, but really just so that it would be compatible with the ball joint. Uh, this is another multi-tiered job. First, I sculpted everything that goes inside the mouth. So basically that teeth thing. Then I sculpted the face over it, um, including the chin, the upper jawline, the eyes, and then uh, the hair that comes out the back of his head. Once that had a chance to harden and stabilize, I put his twisted horn that comes out the top of his head. Oh uh, yeah, that's a horn, by the way. And um, the only description I was given of the hair is that they kind of were shaped like silver spines, but they had this shaggy quality to them, sort of looking like Dr. Wily's hair points from the... You know, the Mega Man franchise, you all know what Dr. Wily's hair looks like. And, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's Overlord's head. So let's take a look at the completed Overlord figure. And here he is, looking, uh, nicely, scarily demonic with his long, lanky limbs, uh, large hands and feet, and, of course, that giant smiling maw full of sharp teeth, um... Yeah, like seriously, this guy sort of looks like a Sonicified version of a Venom symbiote. I mean, it's 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 a really unique and interesting character design. It's it's cool looking, genuinely cool looking. So yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people they take a look at some Sonic OCs that you know kind of break the mold and say that it's sort of a failure of capturing the style, but. You know, I I kind I kind of think that with the proper imagination, those things can look pretty darn cool. So yeah, more power to you, Michael. You made a pretty cool looking character, and I was very happy to make a toy of it. So I thank you all for watching the video. Uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe, all that kinds of good stuff, and we'll catch you next time. This is Wake Angel two thousand one signing off.